Okay guys, so I basically spent the entire day going over the, the Serenity teapot inside this world here and I mean we all got a plot of land to actually work with and I spent my entire day here trying to like figure out how it works to actually show you guys what I did and also to give you guys a clear understanding of how the entire system work. So this will be a complete breakdown of how to utilize the system to actually like build your environment to actually <laughs> take advantage of this system and actually have fun while you're doing it all right so there is a lot to cover um i will basically go over the basics to like go over the layout first because this basically works the same as your camera and then i will go into talking about the trust system and also the adepti the adepti energy system all right how to level up and the, the things that you get like the perks and so on also i will i will tell you or show you a few areas that you can actually go to get the different types of materials because there are a few materials introduced in this game for example we have fir wood we have um, cedar wood bamboo sand bear wood and the list goes on all right so the very basic stuff that we're going to talk about is actually tubby right here so when you actually come to this world tubby will actually be your butler and when you talk to her maybe you are not you you are actually able to switch your realm style now if you already chose one because to actually access this world you have to choose one you have to rank up to actually be able to change your realm style all right but if you are not in here as yet you will be able to choose which one you want you have the floating abode the emerald peak and the cool isle all right Whichever one you choose, you will be locked into that one and you have to upgrade or rank up before you're able to actually change your abode, alright? So, there is a lot to go over, so I will see if I can take it very slowly and hopefully I cover everything so you guys will have a clear and concise understanding of how to utilize the Serenity Pod, alright? Alright, so after you actually come into this world, right, you chose your realm already and now you are with Tubby, alright? Now, the first thing that you guys need to understand is the ranking system. And the ranking system is very easy to understand. You have two different systems here to rank up. You have the ranking system and you have the adeptal energy system, which is something completely different, alright? Now, here you can see the different levels ranging from bare bones to humble abode, cozy, queen size, elegant, and goes on. It goes all the way up to level 9, and level 9 will actually be fit for a king, right? Where you see the adeptal energy needed, you the way to actually get adeptal energy is when you're in this world, right? The more items you actually place in the, in the area, like the more pieces that you add here, you will get adeptal energy and just, let me just give you a quick um showcase of how it works that's if i have any more pieces so for example if i should place this right this piece right here you will notice that under this item it, you see a face of toby or toby's face and it says 60 right and it says one times one it means i only have one but when i place it i get 60 adeptal energy okay that's basically how it works and if you see at the top of the screen you see tubby's face and you see um, I have 2020 um, adeptal energy so far so when I place it like this and I hit save it goes up to 2080 all right so now that's basically how it works whatever you place in this world it raises your adeptal energy so to actually like get a high adeptal energy or to rank up your adeptal energy really fast you just need to get more items and place them in the world all right that's basically how it works it's very simple guys so another thing with adeptal energy right you have to raise your adeptal energy to get a higher level and the higher level adeptal energy you get you actually get access to a variety of things all right so the first thing you will get is you will get more realm currency right when you have a a higher adeptal energy so you start off with four per hour you get four of the coins per hour and then w by the time you get to like adeptal energy level nine which is fit for a king you will start to get 30 coins every hour all right 
and the coins are basically here you can empty them and it goes all the way in your piggy bank all right you have to empty them because um it will it has a cap right and if you don't empty it you won't be getting any more but the thing is the cap will increase based on how um your trust with tubby all right and your tr how your trust system basically works is every time you get a blueprint right and you get blueprints simply by purchasing them from tubby or you will do activities or quests are objectives which you are given here in the adeptal mirror right so by completing these you actually get more um blueprints and when you get these blueprints you can basically like they will go to your precious items and you just come over here and you click on them to actually um put them in your memory and then you will be able to access them or craft them at tubby all right Another thing that you get from Adeptal Energy, when you first start out, right, you actually get one plot of land. Now, the thing is, when you raise your or increase your Adeptal Energy, right, to like level 5, I think level 5 is the first one, right, and it will actually be displayed right here. You will notice that you are able to unlock more regions, and so the next place will actually be Summer Chase Peak, then Autumn Hold Peak, and then Winter Swept Peak this will take a while to actually for you to get this because you will have to eventually it will be tied with your realm currency because you need those to purchase new items and so on to get more items to be to place them in your world all right or differently from that you can actually just go out in the world farm more trees and basically like spam more of the same items in the world and it will raise your adeptal energy so that's basically the fastest way to raise your adeptal energy and the areas or the regions that you will unlock is actually like here as you can see we have the first bridge right here to go across and then as you raise your adeptal energy you will unlock the different areas leading up to that mountain all right so that's basically how the trust systems work and how the adeptal system work all right now when you get your blueprints right you are the only place that you can craft them is at tubby you have to craft for them at tubby before you are able to get them right now the funny thing with this is to craft these things or to construct them at tubby it takes hours and that's the trick behind the system so for example if i should go and craft something as simple as this hardened vase right if you, you should look here you will notice that it will take up to 11 hours right and some things take different time some things will take 15 hours some will take 14 hours and you will notice that you can get more slots to actually add more items but you have to raise your trust system with tubby or raise your trust rank with tubby i should say so everything is uh, tied into each other it is a little confusing at first but like i said it should be easy um everything requires different materials to craft and all you need to do is just double check the items now these things like the like this um yellow bottle thing yellow dye and red dye you can actually craft these right here and all you need is fruits to actually craft these and um i think this is mint all right fabric you craft fabric right here and you use silk flower silk flowers to craft fabric right so you will need these so you have to go out in the real world find the materials that you need and i didn't mention this before to, to get your trust rank up fast you unlock blueprints like i said by doing your adeptal mirror challenges and also purchasing them from tubby you purchase them from Tubby here in the Realm Depot. And after you, you you purchase these, right, when you craft them for the first time or um, craft the furnishing for the first time, you will get 60 trust, trust points, I think it's called. All right. So and to actually like purchase these, you will need the Realm Currency, which is like the resin system. As you can see, you will have to wait hours and hours to actually get the Realm Currency. All right. You basically get these items, you craft them, and that's basically how you raise your trust rank with Tubby. All right, guys. Maybe. 
and like i said again you will need to craft these at tubby and when you actually craft them at tubby you will have to wait hours now the thing is you do have an item um i think it's called adeptal speed and you get these simply by ranking up um going up with your trust rank with tubby and every time you go up a rank he actually gives you 10 of these or another thing that you can do is you can actually purchase them from the realm depot all right and basically when you use one it actually um finishes it actually instantly all right so if you craft a lot of um get most of your items for the first time and you craft them you will get your a trust rank up really fast all right and like i said of the things that you haven't crafted for the first time you will see a blue teapot above them all right guys so that's basically how and it does say it at the top um obtained upon first creation of claim so you get 60 trust points all right so the only thing left to talk about is actually how you another way you can actually raise your or build your world faster you can go into your teammates world or a friend's world right and you can actually help them to craft or build um their world and it will speed up the the time it takes to actually craft the items i think by four hours or something and then after that the thing is you can help multiple friends um, daily but you can't help the same friend twice all right that's the only thing about it so you guys just need to like go in and try out the system it's it is really fun and it's really nice to see that we actually have so as you can see i now have my building i can place it in my world wherever i want to and then i will basically get those extra points all right say for example i do that and I put it there save it and then it is in my world all right and now I have 2110 adeptal energy all right guys okay guys so a few places that you can get materials is for fur you can actually go and get this at storm bear mountains and this is not the only place it is actually all over um, Monsad but I have gotten it in storm bear mountain also fragrant scented cedar you can actually get it in storm bearer as well um, you actually get it from this tree um, pine uh, there are a lot of pine trees in wuwang hill so if you guys want to farm those it should be really easy you can get bamboo in chingsa village which has a ton of bam bamboo trees and then we have birch which you can actually get at dawn winery at the the statue of the seven and finally you can get sand bearer um wood in min in the midland region like i said guys these are not the only areas that has has the materials um so far i only know of these materials all right um these are just some starting points where you can actually get them everywhere all right so the final thing we're actually going to talk about is um a traveling merchant and i believe that what i read is that like every saturday um, leading up to Monday, you will get a traveling merchant who will come in your world. And now, if you have your trust rank at a really high level with Tubby, he will bring uh, more items, I believe, right? Or you might be able to like purchase more. Well, I think he will bring more items. I think that's what I I, I read. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Um, but yeah, he will bring in rare items. Um, let, so let's say for example, I just got a, a kitten from. From um, my doing my adeptal mirror, and um, you he will be able to bring in new cats. He will be able to bring in new dogs and things like that. So you need to keep an eye out for him, all right? And save your realm currency so you can actually purchase a lot of things from him, all right? Um, just take your time, guys. It will take a while to actually build your world, so just be patient with it. And thank you all for watching this video. I do appreciate it, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Okay.